Hey guys, thanks so much for uh, responding to my question here. Um, I want to kind of show this video because I think I'm still not explaining it correctly, so maybe this will help out here. Um, what we see here, well, let me show you the ITIL user first. So the ITIL user, under the configuration application, has these modules. The only one I really want them to see is the base items all, so they can kind of see what assets are in stock. This is just dummy data from the out of box. I don't want them to see this uh, CMDB query builder view or service view. So if I switch back over to the modules of the administrator, what we see here is that the CMD query builder is got the CMD query builder role associated with it. So the suggestion is that we just go ahead and restrict that um, by pulling it out and only adding people who need it. The issue I have with that is I don't really know who's going to need it in the future, so I'm trying to not cause a cascade of trouble down the line. If I take out CMDB Query Builder, then everybody gets, gets access. If I put in a dummy group, um, nobody gets access except for that dummy group, which is fine, but again, I really don't know who's going to need it. So what I'm really trying to figure out is, is there a way to just restrict my ITIL user from seeing this, but allow... Um, you know, everybody in future everybody's or maybe everybody who currently has CMDB Query Builder uh, to access it. And as far as CMDB Query Builder, that role is inherited into the asset role, which the asset role is required for them to see the base items and all uh, list. So it's, it's kind of a catch-22. I can't take these away it seems like without taking this away so that's kind of my question i hope i explained it a little bit better if not uh, i'll continue to try thank you